And now I go to my uh, Secretary General's remark. And now I quote. There is no single pathway to violent extremism, but we know that ex extremism flourishes when human rights are violated, political space is shrunk, aspirations for inclusion are ignored, and too many people, especially young people, lack prospects and meaning in their lives. He goes on saying, we must break down the silos between the peace and security fields and engage them directly with sustainable development, human rights, and humanitarian actions at the national, regional, and global levels. There is today uh, too many violent conflicts and violent extremism is often rooted in a mix of exclusion, inequality, mismanagement of natural resources, corruption, oppression, governance failures, and the frustration and alienation that accompany a lack of jobs and opportunities. We want to better understand why is it that young people get radicalized? I give you one last piece of information. It was shocking for me two nights ago when I was uh, uh, going to the impact of social media in the radicalization of youth. There are, as of November 2015, 41,000 accounts in Twitter with each account with more than 1,200 followers. You do the math, you multiply. All of them belonging to ISIL. More than 40,000 Twitter accounts with more than 1,200 in average followers each. Do we have a problem? We believe so. What to do with it? We have to begin with this, dialogue, understanding. 